Bokar Tov, Banim Ubanot! I'm joking, it's totally nighttime. Um, welcome to sunny California. This is my street in LA. Take a look around. Yay! Let's do the MTV Cribs thing and go into my My keys usually don't work, so this is a very accurate portrayal of my daily struggles. Oh my gosh, it's really not working. Oh yeah. Well, hey guys. Oh, I heard that you guys have the Sheva Brachot tonight, and I was like, really upset that I wasn't invited, because I would have come. Yeah, it opened. Um, well, here we go. Oh. This is the little balcony area. And... Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take a journey all the way upstairs. So, you guys got married. It happens sometimes. I hope you've enjoyed this week of excitement and Sheva Brachot and all the love all around. But I just wanted to point out a couple of things. I've realized you, probably, you guys probably know each other really well at this point, but I was wondering if maybe there's still just a couple things that, Dove, you don't know about the Hava. Now maybe you do, but just in case you don't, I'm going to tell you a couple things. Number one, hold on. Do you know that Zahava once dressed as a my mom perim? She did. She painted her face white and she wouldn't talk to people. Um, Zahava Singer is a peaceful soul. However, she's the only person in the, on the planet uh, of Earth who is not directly related to me that I've ever had a physical fight with. One time in second grade, uh, I was sitting on the floor and I was showing my surprises magazine to Gilad Satan Barish. And Zahava was standing with Adina and they were whispering. And I thought they were whispering about me and saying Rachel likes Gilad Satan Barish, which I did not, for the record. Um, I wonder where he is now, I don't know. Maybe he's in the room with you. So I stood up and I kicked Zahava right where it hurt. And you know something? It only brought us closer together. Um, it's a true story. She's the only person who I've kicked, you know. I really hurt her, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, um, okay. You know how like everyone pronounces her name wrong? Well, my favorite was when we had a teacher in fifth grade named Mrs. Scholl and Mrs. Scholl used to, like, all the teachers who weren't Jewish couldn't pronounce her, like, usually couldn't pronounce names like Chava or Chana because they couldn't pronounce the Ch. But this teacher called, couldn't say Zahava, she could only say Zahavia, which was really weird because that's the Ch, and it's a misplaced Ch. What else, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's one thing about Dove that I really like. One time, one time we were skiing and Zahava was like being a pro and she just like skied down the mountain, no problem, but, but Dove, who I think it was his first time, I'm not sure if it was your first time skiing, but it definitely, like you hadn't done it a lot, but you took to it right away. Um, and it was not my first time skiing, but I just sucked at it. And we, we accidentally went down a blue and I could really only do greens. And I was going down and I was like almost crying because I was so scared. And Dove stayed with me the whole time, like as I inched down like like that, the whole way down. And that just that's a good that's a good pal because, you know, the hobble left me in the dust. So she could just, you know. That's not nice to Hava. I don't like you very much anymore. I picked Dove over you. Okay, and what else? What else? Mm, the rest of these are really boring. 
just remembering the first day that I met Zia and it was in nursery and she was crying like crazy because she didn't want her mom to leave. And that was the first time I saw her beautiful face and her little ringlets and her, she had this deep voice and these tiny little hair. It was so cute. But she was bawling, bawling, bawling and I was like, I don't think I'm going to like that girl. But guess what? I did. I liked her. And then I loved her. And then, then you married her. So thanks a lot, Dove. Um, um, I think that's it. I don't know if I've given you any new information or anything valuable at all. I just wish I was there. And I hope you guys have all had a very easy, meaningful fast. I hope that you enjoy watching the other video, which my mom put up. Um, and I hope you have a beautiful, happy day and week and month and life. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. Not so soon, but pretty soon. And have a great time. I hope your tummies are full and your hearts are full to bursting. Much love to everybody. Bye.